Hey, everybody. Uh, good evening, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting from South Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, ready to share with you, finally, once again, uh, today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. I'm sorry I missed so many videos in the last few days, but the weather has been kind of active in parts of West Tennessee around the Jackson area, and I've been tied up uh, posting uh, weather advisories or alerts, and uh, I really don't have time to do that in a video, and to be a lot more active with my mouse, which will probably cause my voice to go way down low. And you can't even hear me talking when that happens. So I'd have to show it to you. But uh, rather than going through all that and then downloading YouTube video, blah, 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 which takes a few minutes to do all that, I'd just rather post the advisories or alerts and uh, let you read them from there with the map that uh, I've been able to find uh, post along with the alerts. Now, that's one of the reasons why I've been a little behind on my videos, but it's a little active tonight to the north of us. There's a warning for O'Brien and Weekly County uh, this evening to 645, which I'll show you uh, right now, I believe I can. Uh, let me see. Oh, well, here it is. Let me go ahead and show it to you. And uh, uh, let, let you see, it's to the north of us, uh, north of Jackson, that, that is. And that's a severe thunderstorm warning for O'Brien and Weekly counties in West Tennessee until 6.45 p.m. this evening. And that's the way it looks like on the map. Uh, up around the Morton, Tennessee area, uh, east of uh, Union City, and it's moving northeast, so it's moving up toward Kentucky. So it's moving away from uh, Jackson, definitely, and actually sort of moving away from uh, Morton, too, in time, for the next few minutes. But again, that's a severe thunderstorm warning for Bryan and Weekly counties until 6.45 p.m. this evening. And it was issued... Uh, right around 6 12 uh, p.m. Uh, this afternoon that's about the only uh, uh, thunderstorm that's rough nearby for example let me show you the radar real quick and that also shows you the warning too on this radar it uh, shows you down here in Jackson we're in the clear there's, uh, there's one little isolated shower over there right on the Mississippi River west of uh, Ripley, Tennessee. Most of the showers and thunderstorms have been up in Missouri and western Kentucky, and they're moving northeast. And that one's also moving northeast on up and toward uh, um, western Kentucky. The rest of us is basically uh, cloud-free or uh, rain-free, basically fair skies for most of West Tennessee, except for way up here in northern West Tennessee uh, between Martin and uh, Union City. And again, that's moving northeast. A few little showers down in uh, uh, McNair County, I doubt they affect us anyways. Most of these will be small dots you'll see uh, disappear uh, around sunset, which is uh, about an hour and a half away from now. Uh, and I thought I'd go ahead and show you that a little early. Uh, without the other details I normally give you, uh, which I'll go into that uh, now. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the southern section of the country while I'm at it. And it shows you how uh, most of the thunderstorms is, like I said, confined mainly to Missouri, southeast Missouri, on up into parts of Illinois. And it's moving away from Jackson, though. That's why I'm not going no further north on this one kind of let you have, have an idea of how isolated they are. Maybe 10% of West Tennessee at most is covered at the moment, if that much. A few storms down in Alabama and Georgia, as you can see, they appear to be trying to drift southward, while these up here are moving northeast uh, toward Kentucky and eventually Indiana. 
pretty heavy up there in Illinois, it looks like. Uh, let me see if I can get a uh, better view of that real briefly. Uh, what would be Illinois would be, I'll try this one. Uh, this one shows the northern portions of the area. Yeah, a little bit better. Uh, over here, up here in Illinois, to give you an idea of how concentrated it is in Illinois, and most of these up way up here in Illinois, looks like they're moving east, looks like, and down toward Paducah, Kentucky. Most of those are, appear to be moving east, while these down here in Tennessee are moving northeast. All right, uh, well, for those vacationing down in Florida, what's it like down there? I'm fixing to find out right now. Uh, Florida looks uh, okay, except for the southwest portion. <laughs> Some thunderstorms west of uh, Miami, Florida, on the other side of the state, and they appear to be moving southwest off the coast. Anybody up in this area, Panama City, Pensacola, just to name a few locations, uh, Jacksonville, you're okay along the eastern side of uh, Florida. And uh, but just the southern half, maybe, of the Florida is uh, thunderstorms down there. Otherwise, it's fair down there as well. And there you see the rest of the country there. Okay. First time I've ever showed you all that off the, off the front bat, so to speak, in front of the video. All right, let me get back to the climate data, which is also on the share. Around here, it's okay. Here in Jackson, that is. Uh, north of us, up around Union City, Martin, is the other one that's got the isolated thunderstorms uh, going on today. That may happen again tomorrow, depending upon what uh, forecast model you go by. Mine is actually mixed, believe it or not, and I'll explain that briefly. All right, uh, I'll give you yesterday's climate data in brief, since I did miss yesterday. Tuesday, June the 25th, the low was 68, the high was 92 and no rainfall fell and not here in the Bemis area at least I'm up to I had it wrote down and I forgot where I put it uh, and I forgot to write it down on paper <laughs> I love it when I do that I'll, I'll just skip it I believe I'm uh, right at 5 inches for the month if I right near it for the month of, of uh, June, and I'll skip the year since I don't have it wrote down on this particular paper. All right, I'll go on to today's uh, climate summary. Again, yesterday's low was 68, and high was 92. Today, for uh, June 26th, as of 5 p.m., the skies were partly cloudy here in the Bemis area. The temperature was 90 degrees at, as of 5 p.m., uh, it felt like uh, 99 degrees was the heat index, or felt, felt like temperature, in the shade. Hotter than that, of course, in the sun. Uh, the dew point was 74 degrees. The humidity was at 59%. The winds was out of the southwest at 8 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 30.09 inches of mercury. Uh, the uh, highest wind gust today so far has been 17 miles per hour out of the south, and it occurred sometime between 12 a.m. till 5 p.m., or through 5 p.m. Uh, speaking of that, the lowest uh, humidity for today was 59%, and the highest was 97%, and again, this is uh, the highest or lowest from midnight till 5 p.m., the uh, dew point lowest temperature was 68 degrees, while the highest was 74 degrees. The lowest barometric pressure was 30.08, while the highest was 30.17. Uh, the records for today, June the 26th, hottest high would be 103 degrees, the actual high. And that occurred in 1954 and again in 1988. The uh, coolest tide would be uh, 77 degrees in 1958. Warmest low would be 78 degrees in 1952, while the coldest low would be 53 degrees in 1954. Rainfall record for today, uh, 2.65 inches, 2.65 inches, and that fell in 1956. All right, that's the basic climate data for the evening. Uh, I wish I had that other available, but uh, 
it stuck some never mind never mind I better go on to the next step which would be a uh, satellite picture yeah I'll get my thoughts together real quick I've been off a few days I kind of got lost track uh, not on purpose of course again the severe weather alerts have been kind of keeping me extra busy uh, this is the uh, most recent satellite view as you can see most of Tennessee is clear except for northern west Tennessee where that severe thunderstorm warning is valid until well this was about three minutes ago it expired at 6 45 p.m. as you can see there are a few clouds uh, that's trying to drift down even into parts of Jackson at the time it might have a few little high thin clouds going by to our north that will cause us to briefly become partly cloudy maybe mostly cloudy but they should di disappear not too long from now since it's not actually raining here in Jackson and I'm not expecting any here in Jackson tonight tomorrow could be a different story but I'll explain that briefly there's one view of the satellite picture for you the clouds are pretty heavy to our north as you can see from where those thunderstorms are going on up in Illinois and parts of Missouri and western Kentucky alright uh, let's take another view a view from Little Rock Arkansas in a sense and you see the clouds just a little bit better kind of uh, they're, they're blowing up there in Missouri <laughs> in extreme northern Arkansas it looks like and they appear to be moving eastward generally trying to drift a little south toward Jackson but I don't think they'll be too successful uh, down in that area but anyways that's a good view of the satellite there it's fairly clear south of us is it's clear all the way to the Gulf uh, no not really those along the Gulf may be experiencing some clouds too all the way over to uh, the Florida coast let me take a look at that other one again and pull, pull it down into Florida well uh, that's not too bad along the Florida coast most most of the areas except down there where those thunderstorms were that we saw a moment ago all right uh, all right let's move on to the current surface map according to the weather channel it uh, shows uh, the uh, Isolated showers in the general area uh, north of us, as you can see. It's kind of small on this map. There's nothing much I can do about that. Well, yes, there is, too. Uh, I ain't going to do what I was thinking about doing. I'll just leave it alone. Now, you see the area coverage there. A uh, small area in northwest uh, West Tennessee. And the storms down in the, uh, the Alabama and Georgia, of course. Down there in the southwest portion of Florida as well. And really, that's about the only areas in the country that's got any significant rain going on. It's a little bit up in the Pacific Northwest, of course. Otherwise, the nation's fairly dry this evening. A little dab down there, it looks like in eastern Texas and Louisiana, as you can see. But that's the current surface map for this evening. All right, let's look at, look at tomorrow's uh, forecast map. <laughs> Also, thanks to the Weather Channel, according to this map, it still may be uh, raining and maybe storming again tomorrow morning up in Missouri, but uh, not here in West Tennessee, even though there's a chance tomorrow afternoon here in different parts of West Tennessee. But for tomorrow morning, it looks fairly clear at the moment, precipitation-wise. Uh, across all of Tennessee up, except for maybe the Missouri Boot Hill up in that area and other parts of the country and there you see where the rain's expected across other parts of the country uh, for tomorrow morning okay uh, let's look at tomorrow afternoon's forecast and it kind of clears up this is a little bit of difference from that in the printed forecast but I'm going to show you both of them and see which one is right, <laughs> if I may say so. And it makes another one of those uh, pulling hair out of your head to figure out which one's going to get it forecast. But this, the maps look good. Let's hope the maps turns out to be fairly accurate. 
There you see uh, where the precipitation is expected, the areas of it at least, around the nation tomorrow at uh, lunchtime. Alright, uh, let's look at tomorrow evening's forecast map. Uh, it doesn't look a whole lot different from the noon one, but usually it doesn't. There you see the areas. Tennessee looks fairly dry by tomorrow night. And a good part of the country is up, up around the Great Lakes, of course, and the northwest portion of the country. Otherwise, it looks pretty good for tomorrow evening. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and take a peek at the uh, Pacific or detailed forecast. I might, as I'm known to call it, the one that gives more information, but for the sake of my mouse and my voice, I'm going to turn around and read it to you. So my voice won't get uh, almost impossible to hear, which I, and my lips and voice don't match, and I don't. I don't like it when the video does that, and I'm still not sure why it does it, except for an overactive mouse movement. That's the only thing I can think of. But why it does that, I don't know. Okay, enough of that. Uh, fair skies here in Jackson and most of West Tennessee for the rest of the evening. Most of the thunderstorms is uh, to the north of us. Uh, let me double check that radar uh, one more time and uh, get a one more view of it and see if the local part has uh, changed since the last look. Alright, I need to click one more thing. Uh, let me see about the Hold on folks, I'll be getting the camera off a little bit. Let me get my flashlight so I can get the push the light button. <laughs> get the very latest information. Uh, well, the very latest information has the storms moving into Weekly County pretty good. So uh, the warning has uh, discontinued the, the little polygram that they had on it isn't in there anymore. So the warning at least has expired. No, not a new one came out yet. And it looks like... Uh, the uh, where's the very scattered? Let me show it to you real quick. That's the, the evidence of it. This is the very latest radar from the National Weather Service. Some still down in McNary County. Very spotty showers down there, and over there in Lauderdale County is trying to build up a little. There's one there in Gibson County, uh, heading toward maybe Greenfield area north of Milan. That they might get a little bit of rain up in that area briefly. One trying to form uh, on its way to Huntington, maybe. But that's the only one that I can see at the moment. See that polygram disappeared. That storm is moving on to the northeast. It might tag northwest Henry County as it moves by and before it disappears. All right, uh, there's one other source I can check real quick. Let me see if I can do that without messing it up too bad. And see if there's a, an extended uh, warning up in that area and it hadn't showed up on that map yet. Uh, significant weather advisory. Ah, the, the, that storm in Lauderdale County has created a significant weather advisory till 7.30 p.m. for Mississippi County in Arkansas and Dyer in Lauderdale County in Tennessee until 647 uh, uh, p.m. No, wait there. It was issued at 647. It expires at 730 p.m. Uh, thunderstorm producing P to dime size hail with winds up to 40 miles per hour was located seven miles northeast of Ashport or 12 miles south east of Blytheville, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. So that's the advisory for over there in uh, Lauderdale County there, Lauderdale and Dow Dyer County there. And let's see, there's a significant weather advisory for Henry O'Brien and Weekly County. It went from a thunderstorm warning to a significant weather advisory. That's one step below a severe thunderstorm warning, by the way. 
and just for weekly Obion and Henry County uh, until uh, 7.30 p.m. It's uh, still located uh, over Morton, moving east at 15 miles per hour, northeast at 15 miles per hour. So uh, that, and this is why I didn't go into a, a video with the last few days. It, uh, okay, that's a significant weather advisory till 7.30 p.m. Again, for Lake O'Brien, no, not Lake, Henry, O'Brien, and Weekly counties. Okay, and that, that's the warning. I get back to the old warning. So there's a, two significant weather advisories out. Again, till 7.30 p.m. for both of them. Again, for Dyer, Lauderdale County, and for Weekly, O'Brien, and Henry counties of uh, West Tennessee. Okay, let me get back to the forecast real quick. That's what I meant to do. Uh, you're getting some live reports as I give them to you. It does take a lot of extra uh, um, activity with my mouse. Hope that hadn't messed my voice up. But fair skies, like I said, for the rest of the night here in Jackson, Madison County, and a good part of West Tennessee. That may change after midnight, and we'll have mixed sunshine and clouds tomorrow which amounts to fair to very be cloudy uh, tomorrow. They still have plenty of sunshine, but we'll have some clouds mixed in too, with a 50% chance of some more scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, mainly during the afternoon hours though, but becoming fair by tomorrow night. Low tomorrow morning near 67, high tomorrow about 88, with southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. Uh, the sun sets tonight, by the way, at 8.15 p.m. Rises tomorrow morning at 5.41 a.m. The moon uh, is already set today. It'll be uh, rising tomorrow morning at 2.06 a.m. after midnight. and be setting tomorrow afternoon at 3.06 p.m. On into Friday, uh, generally fair conditions will return. We do have a 30% chance of a scattered afternoon shower or thunderstorm Friday afternoon here in the Jackson area. Low near 67, high of 90, with southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Right now, the weekend looks good. Fair skies both days. Right now, no rain's expected at this time. Low near 70, high of 93 on Saturday, low of 70 and high of 94 on Sunday. With jet with east winds at 10 to 20 on Saturday and northwest winds at 10 to 20 on Sunday. And generally speaking, it's going to be generally fair all the way through till uh, at least Thursday of next week, which happens to be 4th of July. There should be generally fair skies on the 4th of July, but there is a 40% chance of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms on the 4th of July mainly during the afternoon hours, a summertime type mainly. Low of 71 and high of 89 on the uh, 4th of July with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sun rises at 5.44 a.m. on Thursday, July 4th and sets at 8.14 uh, p.m. on July 4th next Thursday. Alright, uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect for the next few days. After the weekend, uh, lows will be right around 70, 72, roughly, and highs will generally be uh, really in uh, low to mid 90s. 95 is the highest high so far for Monday, July 1st, and after that, it drops down to around 90 degrees until the end of next week when it cools down to about 89 degrees. Kind of give you a little summary there of what's happening over the next nine days. Well, alrighty, I think that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching and viewing. Sorry it took so long to get back to you, but uh, I'm back, and hopefully it don't get too active, so I'll get back with you tomorrow night. <laughs> well, but if I don't come up tomorrow night, most likely I'll be busy with either unexpected alerts or something else has happened. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, I appreciate you understanding that and sticking with me and and uh, 
continuing to uh, subscribe and leaving some nice comments. I appreciate that. And to keep on making it any longer, I'm going to be quiet for right now. Well, good night, and uh, God bless you from uh, Bemis, Tennessee. Good night.